You hear me, man? Oh, and you're really low on my TV. One second. So, the person that I just got back from seeing a second ago, it says they're in league playing, but it says in game, and then it says slash Valorant. So, is Valorant part of league? Is it the same browser or something? Or the, like the same uh, client thing that it uses? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I guess it's the same thing. Huh. So it's a league... League of Legends shooter game. I'm just kind of split on how the thing went because we went on eight or whatever and then I came back to the house and stuff, but they didn't uh, respond to my message on here, so I don't know if League goes to, if a League message goes to the Valorant game or not or whatever. Because they said they might be down for uh, the flex team over here. But I've never played Valorant. I think I've heard of it. Uh, did I end up dodging there? Oh, and you're typing. I don't want...
Everyone tried to get me to play Counter Strike for a long time, and I just couldn't ever do it. I watched the stuff, and it just seemed so old. Like, <sighs> yeah, that's what they all say. It's just, I don't know. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like 007 for like Nintendo or something. Like, you just, -na -na -na, and then they just shoot. And it's just like direct aim, like no bullet drop or anything. I don't know. I have no idea how to play Eve, though. I'm just saying that. So Probably got this, but... Hold up. Zaya. Is this a... It's a Yone or a Wukong bot lane? Or a Nazir. It might be a Nazir. Hold on. Hold on. I'm mainly just trying to play this champ because I got this skin out of a box today. Little bondage made. I don't really play girl champs that much. What am I supposed to take smite? The video I saw, they had a uh, electrocute, so I probably should have won electrocute, but it was like a year old, so all the stuff was old. I don't know exactly what this does. We got that, and then we got a mark, and then we got an E. I'm not sure what the max yet, so we'll kind of see. Whoa, who was that? Wukong. This is the bot lane I was telling, like talking about the other day. I don't think I got all my things off. I kind of lost that lane, to, to be honest. What does this do? I mean, this is kind of dealing damage, but uh, I, I don't fully understand the abilities yet. Da some sort of dash that does percent damage, and then she gets a charm. I'm guessing that's a targeted ability. I'm coming. God damn. That was a lot of damage. Wait, what does your W do? Marks a champion or monster for five seconds. If it hits the target with an attack and her ability, she refunds the cost. Slow target by 65%. Okay. So, charm them and removes 35% magic resist for 4 seconds. Against monsters, it deals 3 damage. Okay, so it told me I can build Sheen. So does that proc automatically or do I get an auto attack? Okay. That's pretty nuts. 
Maybe I should have won electric you. I didn't have. I got zero first strike gold from any of that. Kind of annoying. Okay, so I mark a target, and then it gives me... I guess I max my Q, and then I max my E? I don't know. Yeah, the duration goes up by quite a bit, and then the range goes up, and the magic shred. I guess I max my Q first, though. So maybe Q, then W. I don't know. Okay, so I gotta click them to mark, I guess, and then... Oh, she barely beat me. I don't know if I was procking my sheen, though. This is kind of a pro... Also, I fucked up my build, because I need boots right now, and I don't have boots. <sighs> okay. That was that, that one thing that video said, was you have to buy boots first back, and then you roam top to bot, because boots let you hit your cues. And now I'm stuck with uh, magical footwear because I fucked up my thing. Alright. Doesn't A it, she goes invisible at some point, doesn't she? Oh. I didn't know that. I thought she was always invisible. Shows herself in demon shade for four seconds of not attacking or using abilities. Restores 39 health per second while below 420 health. Huh. So I mark somebody with a charm, and then when I hit them with an ability, it automatically charms them. Oh, okay. I don't know how long the charm lasts, but... Like three seconds? Yeah, Skarner's just sitting on us, it seems like. Unleash their demonic energy dealing heavy damage is kind of untargable and teleporting backwards. She deals. Okay. I thought it was a random teleport. It's interesting, though. She deals damage. Increase to against enemies below 30%. Upon cast, set demon shade to a 1.25 second cooldown. Interesting. I don't know what that was. I don't know. I thought I used my Q, and then my Q was there, and then I thought my Q only targeted one thing, but then it's targeting multiple things, so I'm a little confused on it. It's going to take me a minute. We just dress like you're seducing your next victim. Say what? Well, 
Well, that's what you're saying, but I don't understand how the champion works yet, which is why I was trying to do it in the norm. Because I don't... The only thing I know is that her... Th I don't see any dash besides her ult. So, okay, her first Q is an actual skill shot, and then it's her thing. So, to do an additional, okay, she does additional damage. Okay, I couldn't do my thing when I was... Okay. I can't... I don't know if my sheen is proccing either. It's kind of... Okay. I just... Like, I realize that I'm... I can use my Q basically on whatever, but the first part is a skill shot, and then if I hit somebody, it does extra damage. So... Charm duration goes up a little bit. It's not like a major difference in the charm duration. But there's empowered damage with whiplash, apparently. Yeah, he's just a little bit too strong, I guess. I can't even tell how... Like, I don't know if I'm auto-attacking or not, because I'm just pressing the shit out of Q. I don't think there's time to auto-attack. Like, as soon as the Q's over, it, the Q's... It's back up and ready to use again. So unless I can attack and push Q at the same time, I just don't see how this is. Uh... But I have my uh, the, the thing built now, so I should be able to tell. But being permanently invisible is kind of OP as a support. Should I? I don't know if I should just try to take this farm. Their clear is pretty decent, maybe. This is a very weird champion. Like, I don't feel like I understand what's going on, but I also feel like I'm not doing anything when I kill people. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight that Wukong, though. Yeah, they're here. How did I have a shutdown? That's nuts. Yeah, I think, um... I don't know. I think Electrocute. Or maybe Hell of Blades.
Yeah, but I'm like Hello Blades would give me like really quick attack speed for the Lynchbane proc. So like Q auto Q auto Q auto. Yeah, but this thing has I don't know what the cooldown on this is. This is like a second or something here. I don't know what it is, but. It's... I can't tell. I don't think they. Does the Q do tur damage? It was letting me Q the turret, so I couldn't really tell. I guess it lets me do the Lynchbane proc, so I mean, that's something. Dealing heavy damage, come turn around and teleport back. I think her her ult is a rain or it's an AoE damage. Interesting. Okay, so I got a ranged poke that I can use. All right, I get it. I kind of get it. Maybe I should go like celestial opposition. Did you just alt cancel? Yeah, it looked like you were about to cast your ult, and then you flashed forward and stopped it or something. Yeah. I don't know if Eve is, like, giving me vibes that make me feel like she's my kind of champion, but I could see, like... Chicks playing her pretty hardcore. She's just talking about sex shit all the time. I'm just sitting there like, eh. like Mordekaiser's my guy. Fucking stealing art. Okay. So I regen health only when I first turn into this, I guess. Trying to understand how her regeneration works. It's like like so when you turn into invisible, you get like three or four procs, and then it stops or something. So you restore 80 health per second while below 893 health. So it's up to like half her health pool or something. And then... What's going on here? Her health 
thing scales off of 250% of your AP. That's kind of nuts. God, that's nuts. And like the little shield is like keeping me alive. Oh, and like my little like target thing scares people. God damn. Like, look. So, like, if I use... W and then I don't oh shit Five seconds. Hits the target with an attacker ability. She will expunge the mark, refund its cost, and slow to... If the mark lasts at least 2.5 seconds, expunge has extra effects. Okay. Say what? Okay, yeah, I get it. So, like, I can hit them early, and it slows them by 65%, which is still all right. That's probably a dumb decision by me, but, like... Yeah, but, I mean, it's a level 12 young... I mean, I guess he's 0 and 9, but I'm still two levels under him, and I kicked his ass. Holy shit. I wasted my ult. Medjize. Oh, yeah, I've never built Medjize as an item. Yeah, I just feel like I'm dying too much for it or something right now. And the Lynchbane is doing damage somehow. I just don't know how exactly. I mean, it's up to 1,500, but I'm not really trying to auto. See, if you max E, you get like 115 base damage, and then it does max health damage, and then empowered damage is another, so it's like three or 400 damage, maybe? Oh, I didn't have ult. Yeah, Wukong's pretty strong. I should have went and fought Yon. I wonder at what point they're going to, like, uh... Ooh. But, like, at what point are they going to, like, uh, stop trying with, like, Silas's animations? You know? Because, like, every time they add a champion, they gotta add animations for Silas and his ult and shit. 
I mean, kind of. Yeah, like some of that stuff. But like eventually it's just going to be like, ah, oh, fuck it. And then just send them out there. Go uh, restock my wards. I think I can get this down. I mean, first strike is starting to make some gold right now, though. So I don't know. It's like five or six hundred gold right now. But electrocute would probably be stronger, really. I'm surprised that he stopped and turned around right there. They call me Mr. Bombastic. Ooh, was here. <laughs> she deleted my ass. Holy shit. Who Kong talking to? Oh. I will say though, like the Wukong support, not as bad as I thought it might be, but it's, I mean, I don't know how. Because he gets two alts. I mean, that's like two peel things. If you build that armor pin item that slows when you do uh, physical damage, maybe. I don't know. Wukong, yes, woo. I should have just hit R. Yeah, that's not a that was not a good Azir play. I'm not sure what he was thinking right there. That's probably the hardest thing to learn with this year too, is you got to, uh, like, in second, like, just, like, dashing into the middle of fights like that, you just really can't do like that often. Got to play like a singe. You just kind of move around. Ooh, I'm here for it. I don't know. Oh, yes. Damn. 
Now we're on a roll. Yeah, I gotta play some of these new champions because I don't know uh, all their stuff. I unlocked a couple of them because uh, I had the little champion tokens, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'll I'll buy them." Silas, no, no. I didn't have ult. Yeah. Their ADC, like, legit just dumpsters me so hard. Yeah, well, she's just ulting as soon as she sees me, and then she's bringing them in, and they insta kill me. But I don't have my ult. Like, almost every time I try to fight her, I don't have my ult. I don't think I've landed but, like, two charms this whole game, honestly. And I, I feel like it should be very easy. But it's like as soon as I mark somebody, they just run off. I can't chase them down. I don't get an assist for marking them. That's stupid. I feel like I need uh, that thing that recharges your ults. Oh, God. I literally, I can't, I can't do anything to her. Dude, her health regen is pretty damn strong, actually. The more AP you get, the higher it goes. Yeah, so she's like, she's AP Pike, sort of. In a weird way. I mean, I mean, she's not really bringing a ton of utility as a support, I guess. She's not, like, she kills and she charms, but she, it's kind of like fiddlesticks. I mean, he had that little fear support thing that they do, but it wasn't, like, crazy. Her wave push and stuff is pretty good. <laughs> Where'd he go? The regening health is a uh... Oh, God, I got it. I think I'm getting it. I got a charm on me. If I land the charm, that's all that matters.
Well, I just fought him a second ago. Oh, I was on the fucking edge. That shouldn't have counted. <laughs> Problem with AP on the supports now, too, is that uh, it's kind of hard to build penetration if you need it. I mean, she has it kind of, sort of, built in, I guess, yeah. Get four. Yeah, if we try to get this flex team together, though, we got to figure out what everyone's going to do, because I'm probably going to have to go to a solo lane or something that, uh, because there's like three or four support people, you know, because like she plays support and I guess a little bit of top. I've played pretty much every lane, but mid and top are kind of like my other things. And uh, the other guy we we're playing with, I think, was support or something. Or he was supporting top two, I think, right? Yeah, he's okay. So I can, pro I can probably do mid, I guess. But I don't think we have a real jungler. I guess I could maybe jungle, but I'm not like an expert at it. Yeah, I mean, I've played Rengar and stuff in the jungle in the past. It's just I don't play jungle that often because it's, it's kind of like the same reason I don't play ADC that much. It's a little bit stressful. Yeah, I was trying to proc it, but I can't. I don't know about this turret dive, to be honest. Okay. God damn, you fucking destroyed those things. Jinx. So uh, you're burning out on your Draven grind? Yeah. He can run. That's for one thing. Kind of wondering if there's a way to build like a uh, like a Bruiser Eve, like health and AP, conquer. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think she's, like, her kit, I mean, her Q is kind of sustained damage, but she just doesn't, she's not tanky enough to sit. So it's kind of... Yeah, I've always had Poppy on the back burner. I don't play her that often, but... Yeah, I haven't played her in a while. She's always been strong, though. Like, And I, I play her support sometimes, too, but... Yeah, it's because her uh, W cancels dashes and stuff, so it's pretty useful against, like, Irelia and all kinds of stuff like that. And... Yeah, and she's... Yeah, pretty tanky, but like I like taking Poppy on the bot lane, and uh, I don't know if it still works, but you do uh, smite with flash, and then you just invade the enemy jungle level one, fucking pin them against the wall and smite their buff, and then run off. I mean, it it works. It's just. You gotta kind of catch him off guard. You have to get a ward in there is the main thing to kind of time it. I mean, it's been a while. I'll probably I'll try her. I, mean, I don't mind playing Poppy. She's good. The other thing with Poppy though is like if you take P Poppy with Smite, you can. Uh, it's kind of like Bard, like. Bard with smite and Poppy with smite. When people are taking buffs, if you can get a good ult off, and then you can just smite the buff off from out from them. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I'm sure they get a few items now. But I think it's just like her kit. Is is just anti dash, which is kind of good. Like if they like this Jarvan and stuff, it's good with. But like other than that, like I would almost say Leona might be better, just because the stun is on a like the stun doesn't require a wall and it's like a much faster cooldown. So it's kind of, but like this Pantheon and Jarvan, like Poppy should be able to cancel their stuff and then. See, this thing is saying uh, Phase Rush or Aftershock. Like, it's always been Grasp as far as I remember. But... So you're saying aftershock and not grasp? I mean, it's telling me unflinching, bone plating. Like, cause like I think I usually do overgrowth and stuff on this, but I don't know, cause like the aftershock. I get what they're doing, but if you don't stun them on a wall, you're not gonna get it. Unless you ult. So I'm kind of... Ingenious Hunter. And I guess I'll go Cheap Shot. No, oh, Hex Flashes. I, I do like Hex Flash. But you're saying Ingenious Hunter lowers the Unending Despair proc thing and stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty decent team to run Poppy into anyway, so. So we got Pantheon, Lucian, Jarvan, and Gragas. All got dashes. Mm-hmm. 
Stun duration isn't super crazy. Pantheon and stuff was right here, but I don't know. I almost want to start W just to try and cancel Pantheon's jump, but um, yeah. I think we can out-trade him with just my Q anyway. It does percent max health damage. Well, her Q is doing uh, 9% and then 9%. Oh, it's neat. Oh, is it? Uh, Nico um, bot lane, Nico ADC. I just know when she came out, everyone was building her like like regular AP and I saw that she had like an attack speed thing and I was like why don't you just do attack speed and like and then right after that I'm a little puppy yeah you don't want to jump on her boy if he jumps on you I'm going to pin him on the wall I don't think he's dumb enough. Fuck. Don't fuck around with Poppy. Almost got a little bit too much damage. Shit. 18% for like one Q is kind of nuts. No. No. Should I go Sunfire? You want me to get... Eclipse. So, Sunfire, Uninitiated Despair, and then Eclipse? Or Eclipse and then Unending Despair? What the fuck is. I never built a Thimble Winter, I don't even know. So, you're saying. Eclipse, Unending Despair, or Eclipse, Thumble Winter, and then Unending Despair is what you're saying.
I don't think they understand what Poppy does. I will dive his ass. I don't know if she's a good support. She's a good champion. I mean, it's kind of... <laughs> I mean, she has... Well, I mean, her dash thing is really good, but I wouldn't say, like, she doesn't have a lot to, like... She has damage, and she has a pin against a wall. How does Trailblazer, I mean, it just moves faster, but I'm, I'll build it. Alright. I mean, I'm building it, I don't care, it's more speed for me, I like speed on Poppy, but... I just know stuff like Sunfire, like when you pin him against the wall, you can get damage off and stuff. I mean, Iceborne's good. Um. God damn, we just beat his ass. Just in case they come creeping. I will pin one of you on the wall. Violent bedroom stuff going on around here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to ward. I'm surprised Vi didn't take the blue buff. I was fine with him. I was there. I don't even know. I think this is just the flat damage. The bit, the base damage doesn't go up. I don't know if I should be maxing Q if I'm not building damage. Ooh, I almost traded with him too right there, but Jarvin was like right there. I would fuck up that Lucian so hard. Probably should have focused on one. If you alter something down there, it's like. If you respawn and alt them, maybe. Yeah, I think if we just engage on Lucian and them there and fuck them up, I think they just die, to be honest. Ooh! Aww. Oh. But yeah, this uh the bonus damage on the Q goes up from like forty it's like two levels you get an additional forty, but Well I guess it's it's two procs, so it's like eighty, it's pretty good. Ooh. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, she could eat. She's probably gonna come back and pretend to be Pantheon or something. Or she'll come out of that bush. I don't know. I mean, they can't really come down. Like, as long as we f have the wave here, they can't really fight us. So all I gotta do is, like, flash over there. Like, look, look how oppressive that is. It's like...
I guess I could ult one away and then engage the other one. Just kind of poke and poke and poke and poke and poke. I feel like we just win if we dive them, but I don't know. Probably do. I don't know if I risk it, to be honest, but I want to. Yeah, that was risky. So you want me to play Eclipse? Yeah, I see a lot of people building this item right now. Heading a champion with two separate attacker ability within two seconds deals 8% max health bonus damage. So it just, you know, adds on to her Q. And 164 shield. Why doesn't Yasuo build that? EQ combo? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not a whole lot you can do there, to be honest. Yeah, we should just make a league channel. I have some dumb stuff on YouTube from like seven years ago called Copper League and like some of my Yasuo outplays back then were fucking insane. What support item should I build? I want, I want to do Celestial Opposition, but if I do Realm Spike, then my I get 4% more max health damage, so that's already... Oh what? The the void spike? Oh blood song. Well, I'm just saying like blood song is more like total damage overall, but the other one is doing four percent, so like I'm getting eighteen percent, then an additional eight percent, and then an additional four percent. So we're already looking at like thirty percent of someone's health. I mean, hell, I should build Eclipse even on, like, 80 Thresh. <sighs> QE. Yeah. A lot of... Co
I don't know if I want to increase my wall stun duration. It's only like 0.4 of a second for the whole thing. Three second cooldown. Max my W. Get total of eight seconds uh, reduced cooldown on the W. I always like champions like Poppy because they're just strong for no reason. You just run at people like this and they're like, no, no, the Poppy. pretty low like I feel you probably could have killed either of them with that ult to be honest do 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 I don't know if I can uh, hammer that it's been a while Oh, I didn't get my auto off. Main problem is I don't have any damage right now. I just have defensive items, really. I think usually you do, like, I think it was, like, Titanic or something. I mean, well, you have Sunfire and Titanic, and uh, or it was, like, Triforce, something like that. You do Triforce. Oh, I mean, you don't have to follow me. I'm just... Yeah, they're starting to time my W. Yeah. They're like, they're like waiting it out now, so it's kind of, I just need to time it better. Well, like the all but his little banner dash. Alright, got the Eclipse, 200 shield for two seconds. Oh. Run faster, Poppy. Gragas is a fat bitch. Yeah, I thought somebody was coming through that bush because I saw a flash on the mini map. That's why I ulted over there. That might have knocked somebody back. I don't know. Let's 
Let's see. Hammer damage goes up 100 each time. I really want, like, a combo with poppy alts. Like, it's because, like, if you could... Like, I've always thought, like, if you could figure out where they would land based on where you hit them at, that that'd be really cool to be able to set up, like, team kills and shit. Like... Oh, if I hit them at this direction, at this with this power spike, they're gonna land in Raptor Pit, and then you just have like Shaco boxes and shit in there. It take a long time to learn, though. such BS. I thought Pantheon only took damage from, like, I thought he took damage in the back when he did that, but he didn't take anything. He was standing on top of it, though, I guess. I mean. Not feel, I mean, the Eclipse is doing stuff, I just don't know if it's doing everything that I want. Where's the Unending Despair? Yeah, Unending Despair, like, is probably a decent item. It's just the build path kind of sucks. You're not really getting out of, like, anything until it's finished. Poppy gonna beat that ass. Who? Mama said you so fast. Who? Peace cake. Peace Kirk. I don't know if he's baiting Baron or what's going on there, but Okay. He tried to jump over the wall. I can't, I couldn't tell if he fucked up or if he got interrupted. Oh, shit. I don't have my ult for this. That's like the one thing that they didn't need to get hit by and they got hit by it. I need to play Huey, because I, I haven't played him. I don't understand his stuff, but he seems so strong. He has, like, just a rant. Like, he has, like, a Zerath ult on, like, a, I don't even know, like, a 10-second cooldown or something with his fucking thing, and then... Three. Yeah. The only difference I see is like he has like a, a thing that shows you he's about to do stuff when he empowers it or whatever.
Oh, shit. Dude, he tried to dash backwards. I just need to see what the radius of this item. Like, the radius on an ending despair is pretty big. But I just don't know. Like, I don't feel like I'm in the middle of that many people on Poppy that often. Maybe I am. It's 80. I think it has a bigger range than Sunfire, though. But 80 damage to nearby champions and 250 for each. So it's like 160 health. Or probably 200 health per champion. Three pigtails. Oh, this isn't good. I'm going to knock him out of the pit here in a second. <gasps> Can't believe that just happened. Nico fucks us up so hard. I mean, you and Huey might, but you're going to have to watch that shit. Yeah. He's still in the bush. Uh, he probably, they left, yeah, okay. I'm thinking about making a Minecraft server, bro. I don't know. It's been a long time. No! I don't have my W for this. No. 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 Ah, shield me. Telling you, Poppy W, man. Who, like, who sees Poppy and then, like, every person on their team's like, you know what I want to do? I want to have a team that dashes. <laughs> yeah. They had one guy. Against who? Plant. Oh, yeah, I mean... 
I mean, play against. Yeah, I mean, it's more or less like if basically if you have a poppy and they don't have, I mean, she's going to be decently strong, but like if they don't have um, dashes and they don't have like, if they're not hugging walls, you can't really lock them down. So like if they have like an AP caster or a Zyra or something and they just sit in the middle of the lane. Uh. Yeah, well, Poppy also gets that percent HP damage, so like tankier champions kind of get fucked up. But she also has the the ult to kind of like peel people off. So like, even if they try to like you know five v two us or whatever, you can ult like two or three of them away. What was the second one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem with Blood Song. I just think Celestial would give you a little bit more tankiness, but and it has that slow on it. But, um... And more damage. And it slows. It's just, like Trailblazer's gonna be for your ADC and Dead Man's more like like even that game, like I had Trailblazer but we didn't really use it that much. I don't think. Yeah, but it's it's like not as much damage I don't think as Dead Man's. So like when you go in for your Q and like your auto attack with Poppy, it's gonna like proc. Zach Top. Do um a Lowy Heimerdinger bot lane. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, that's that's true. It, when they fight you, though, then they're gonna have to deal with Heimer turrets and Alawi tentacles, or you can do like Alawi and Zyra. I don't know. Haven't haven't tried the Camille thing yet. Jan, oh. Dude, Jaina is kind of low key disgusting as a like a support. I've been playing against them. Like she's always been good, but like I've been seeing people run around with her now, just fucking people up. She's she's so fast. Rexai support. Got some AP. I mean, we got a lot of AP now, apparently. <laughs> I probably should just support this game, but. Mm. AP Soraka.
Can we be friends? I wonder Briar support. Timer Dinger, Jarvan support. I mean, Jarvan does give like attack speed buffs. You're playing what? It sounds like you should have like a Moo Moo jungle with Leona support and then You know, this chick right here, I've never really played, but I know she's annoying as shit, because she makes someone, like, immune to death. And... Well, she makes people attack each other, too. I hate Sorakas. Huh. I don't remember what I used to run on this. Well, I used to run something with this bill. I don't remember what it was, though. I'm, I'm thinking it was probably Legend Alacrity, and then either Triumph or Last Stand. It was probably Triumph for extra gold, if I'm going to think on it. But... I kind of want to try those um, those pot things that everyone says is terrible in the inspiration tree. I don't know what the first one do, like the first two, but that one that gives you an extra level. Yeah, I mean, that's what I want to try at some point. Because, I mean, that's two free bonus levels. Like, even if you're a support and then you do good bot lane and you're up, like, I don't know, like, one, two levels, and then you get those two, you're automatically two levels above, and it's like, oh, that seems good. 
Classic Invade with you not being behind me. Who? Oh, Tark. Yeah, Tark's always been good, but he's also, like, weird. I don't know. But he's always been really good, because, like, you just sit there and auto-attack and heal, like, crazy. It's... Oh, I could see him with, that, like, that Moonstone or whatever it is that, like, gives someone else the healing. And you just sit there and heal, like, three people all at the same time. The thing with Tarek is he's hard to use with uh, random teams because you have to time his alt perfectly. I usually, uh, I usually reset the enemy buff. I forgot about it though, because like I'll I'll grab their buff like twice and they it resets. Ooh, Soraka got some feet on her. I feel like I'm going to have some mana issues. I don't know. Oh, shit. I should have went the other way. No, I need you to auto. She was like one shot chasing you, <laughs> see one hit. Uh, but yeah, it's all right. Soraka's always a pain, because you got to, like, kill Soraka before you can kill the enemy ADC, because she'll just heal him. Yeah, well, I, I grabbed her the wrong way, too, because I was behind her. Yeah, I think she did, too. They ran into us, so our minions started attacking um, theirs, or them, instead of their minions, so... Uh, they ended up killing. Oh, fuck. That was not worth it. This Soraka is like fucking on meth right now. Took way too much, like, caffeine today. I literally like I just needed you to shoot the fu shoot the minions with a rocket. <sighs> Soraka's juking the shit out of me and I just I can't get it clear. I haven't played Blitz in like a long time. Well, it's been I wouldn't say a long time. It's not been that too bad. I don't know how I fucking whiff that. There shouldn't be a dive here. Surely. I mean, she can heal them, but it shouldn't have been. Yeah, but we're going to need to clear this pretty quick. Yeah, those minions get in the way. Rod. Come on, Graves. That was the most, like, uncinematic death I've ever seen. Level 4 versus level 4. Oh, very close, very close. She's stronger, though.
Don't worry. It's too bad I pushed that. I didn't level up my W fast enough. I could still do it, to be honest. Yeah. Well, my ghost came up, so I could have tried, but Soraka. <laughs> I was very surprised they tried to three man that. Tempted to try and go mid, but. I got knock up. I got a. Uh, Soraka is very, very low. Oh, no fucking way. Just like the odds. I don't think they had that warded. I think she just did it. She had no health. It's like one one little shot would have like fucking murked her. Ugh. That's not good. Mom, boy. Oh my god, one auto attack. I I tried to like let y'all get it and then I noticed if I auto attacked she would have died and then I fucking I don't know if I want to type out that whole explanation to Graves right now. She doesn't have enough to heal.
Oh my god. Oh my absolute. I feel like I was running Triumph on the last time I ran this build, but I can't remember. I feel like I was like the extra gold would have given me rod faster is probably what I was thinking. God damn. Holy shit. Her uh, silence or whatever just like marks marks her. Instant replay. I tried to work on Blitz's build like a long time ago because his uh, alt is kind of like Mordekaiser's thing, but I couldn't remember. I mean, it can be. He's just, he's just if you build him support, yeah. I'll try to take like one plate and then dip out of here. Oh, he's trying to dive him. I mean, we're doing stuff. I don't know. Oh, I kind of wanted to grab her, to be honest. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Oh, shit. What should I do? I guess I should do Blood Song, maybe. Or Celestial Opposition. Yeah, but I'm just... Celestial Opposition will give me a little bit more tankiness so I can get my uh, alt stacked up, probably. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's going to slow them. So, I mean, that's something. Don't worry. Me succumbing. Very scary. Very, 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 very scary. Can you alter? Alright. Yes, 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 yes. Oh shit. How did that miss? I thought that was Irelia for a second too. I was like, fuck. Dude, my fucking my hook was like on her ass cheek. Like it was so fucking close. We 
need some Grievous, to be honest. I don't know if I win this, but I want to. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're both low, but she's going to... You can push. I'm going to try and help with this turret. Oh, yeah, I'm getting my blitz skills back, boys. <laughs> oh, I curved the fucking hook around uh, the top laner's fat ass and grabbed Soraka like he was like 360. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, well, it's... uh. Yeah, it's pretty good because it, it rotates and grabs. I don't practice enough to really do them like super well. Blitzcrank is uh his thing is like his fist goes out and like the chain like turns. So like if you shoot through a minion, his his hand like kind of goes around. I don't know. It's hard to. Ooh, Kindred. Ooh. Bail. Bail. I should have grabbed her probably right there, to be honest. She's still going to be right there. She's still gonna be. I still need uh, a little bit more on my stuff. I need like 400 gold. So what makes me want to play AP Soraka? She's just like beating the shit out of me right now. Come back here, boy. Rocka fucking hurts. Come back here, boy. Nah, I should have known better. Yeah, I'll die for it. Whatever. Gives me enough for my death cap. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom, boom. So now I got 560 damage on the Q and 587 damage on the alt. You know, thinking on it, if I uh, built pure AP, like, burst and not, like, HP and, like, healing stuff, I'd probably do more damage, technically. Oh, she didn't take any damage from that. That's weird. I ulted her and she didn't take any damage.
I don't know. Maybe I went like domination and went like ultimates because I feel like my ults used to recharge a lot quicker or something. Yeah. Well, right now it's like a 30. I mean, it goes down to a 20 in the next level, so it's probably better. But. Say what? I mean, I'll come fight those guys. Huh? I don't have any wards, but yeah. It's cool. They're going to go fight Cassante. I still haven't played Cassante either, and his uh, kit seems really fucking strong. Punch the thing in the face. East. Uh, well, I mean, there's a wall there. The, uh, what's her face? Is Talia's wall thing? Um. Yeah, Soraka fucked me up right there at the end. We'll see. I mean, that's a lot of tanking. He ain't taking no fucking damage. There's a little bit, nothing major. Same my Rabadons is giving me an extra 92 ability power. I wish I could remember what my fucking build was when I ran this. It might have been like Phase Rush. I thought he was dead before, but... I'm starting to think maybe I was doing, like, um... What you call it? That sorcery thing that gives you more EP over time or something. I couldn't see you know, if I'm... I don't know why this Soraka is pushing by herself. That's kind of nuts. Why isn't anyone taking damage from my ult? What? Like right there, she was right in front of me, and then I hit her twice, and then I ulted. It's supposed to do 802 damage, but it did absolutely zero. And I have no idea why.
I need like 200 gold. Should be game. Yeah. I was about to finish my Nasher's Tooth, and then I would just run through people. Back into Emerald again. <sighs> Shit. Emerald is such a fucking crab shoot, man. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. I went into, like, I tried to do some solos and Emerald as support. My ADCs were worse than, like, bronze players. It, like, I can't, I can't even fathom, like, what was going on. Yeah. 